There's the fish. Oh yeah! Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Can some fly in Alaska on the wall you con or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. We're hiking into the lower Shoshone River here in Cody, Wyoming. It's uh, April, but man, you wouldn't know it. It's like going to be 60 degrees today. Beautiful day. And uh, we're, we've got about a 15 minute hike supposedly to where we've been told there's a good stretch of river. We're going to get in there and see what, what, what it looks like. So. Fish on. Looks like a decent fish, Larry. Not too bad, yeah. Wow, cool. There's one. <laughs> Double. This doesn't seem like a very big one, Larry. Nope, this one neither. <sighs> a little brownie. It's a jumper. It's about six inches. <laughs> All right, a little brown trout. Not the biggest fish in the river, but uh, heck, nice little brown trout. Larry's got a fish on over there. It's maybe a little bit bigger. Guy out. Let him go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice little brown trout to go along with that rainbow. Both of them about the same size. Probably about 10, 12 inches, but good fighters. It's nice cold water. And just dead drifting a little BWO uh, dry fly. And that's how I got that one. I have had strikes at the very end when I'm swinging this, and as I'm stripping it back in, I'll get a little hit like an emerger. Ladies and gentlemen, there's always a few things that you should never say on a fly fishing trip. Like if it's a calm day, don't mention how it's not windy. Okay, that'll just hex the day, the wind will blow. Always use the word or the letter W instead. But don't talk about wind, it's not smart, wind will blow. Secondly, if somebody tells you the fishing was great uh, and you're going the next day, don't even bother going. You've missed it. And thirdly, it's very important that if you catch a fish on your first cast, leave. You're done for the day. You're not going to catch another fish. All those things are very important to remember while fly fishing. Ooh, there's one. Oh, it's a good one. I don't know if I still have it. I do. And it's not humongo, but it's a nice fish. It looked like a heck of a strike on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's decent fish for sure. Yeah, it just goes right off. I think I got a little excited about how big this was and it's not that big. Maybe I just got him in the side, it's a problem. We'll see. Nope. It's in the mouth. Come on, baby. Yeah. Ooh. God, it was leaders. Long. Okay, almost had him. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's, that's a really that's nice. a beautiful brown. Yeah. A nice brown trout hit it out of that kind of deep water slot right there. Really nice fish, put up a good fight. It's a lot of fun. I just tossed out a little B BWO and uh, blue winged olive type imitation. And the fish came up, it was a nice rise and just a gorgeous fish. There was a little cloud cover when it hit. Maybe that helped, but the sun's popping out right now. Shaping up to be a great day. There's a bunch of blue winged olives hatching right now and that's what the fish are going after. So we're using the size 16 parachute atoms to imitate that. And it's been a great fly so far. Ooh, one jump there. Yeah, you have to go back and try it. There's the fish. Oh yeah! Oh, that was off. a beauty! Oh. That's a big fish. Yeah. Darn it. Wow. 
That was a hot fish, big fish. That was so cool. Fish on. All right. Ah, oh, good fish. Very nice fish. Ah, oh, pretty nice brown trout. Woo -hoo -hoo. This setup's very similar to what I used before, but I took Larry's rod and he has a wool indicator. He doesn't have any weight on this at all, but he just has that single lightning bug and that's what caught that fish. We have also fished the Shoshone River in the summer. Steve is working the inside seam of a nice ripple with a screamer. Oh, had a pull. All right. Oh, oh, got him. Nice. Pretty good like fish. Good yeah, I mean, pretty good. Good. We'll take what we can get. Yeah, took the uh, whatever, uh, the muddler. Cool. Yeah. It's awesome. Ooh, he's taking out line. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty solid tap tap hit. Good looking, Some, good fish. Some jump. Saw it. Yeah, I think it's a cutthroat. Wow, cool. Oh yeah, yeah beautiful. It's a nice fish. cutthroat. Come on, fish. Nice job. Yeah, thank you. It's a nice little, probably 14 inch cutthroat. Nice little trout. Yeah, nice little cutthroat on the streamer. First kind of activity of the day, we tried a dry. We tried some nymphs, no luck. Streamer, kind of about third or fourth cast. Got a nice take. Good job. Yeah. This is the streamer that I hooked that fish on. Just big black, I don't know what it's called. I think uh, peanut envy or something like that. Uh, worked really well. Working down river, stripping a little bit. Fish it. Ah! <coughs> I haven't done the splash for years, and it doesn't feel good. Back to April, Steve made a cast, then moved down the bank to prolong his drift. Oh, that's a nice one. Fish on? Yeah. It's a nice one. It's a good fish. That was cool. Big jumper. Down in the little slower water down here. Wow. It's a good fighter. Got him. Whoo. Yeah. Nice fish. You know, not a real long one, but good, good fat fish, probably 12, 13 inches, maybe something like that. The way this fish jumped, I thought it was a rainbow at first, but then it could see the brown trout colors on it. It's a beauty. I think that's my best fish of the day right there, 14, 15 inches maybe. Oh man, that was a good brown trout, maybe 13, 14 inches, nice and fat, good jumper. That was fun.